Hi guys, I was editing some stuffs about my first build when I saw some spikes on the CPU and on the GPU temperatures and also a medium either temperatures in the system. This was also during games. Ta -da! So I take a closer look at the loop and on the CPU block I see something strange like that. It seems like a ring of rust around the screw. I don't know, it seems so. And this is very bad, by the way. And I was a little bad about that. So yes, this is rust. And also I take a closer look at the CPU water block that in my case fortunately is clear and I see that it was full of dirt and seems also a little clogged. Damn guys, and <laughs> for final at the top of my reservoir, this is clearly my fault, I have fixed to art the temperature sensor and I cracked it. This is very bad. Also, examining the tubes, at a closer look, I have a finest film of the coolant on them. I was using the too opaque. Okay, too many things wrong. It's time to drain everything. Take the CPU and GPU block apart, open them and discover what's inside. For first, let's try to change the top of the reservoir with another top from Singularity Computer. But trying to see if it will fit, I drop it. <laughs> I hope the O-ring will work the same, despite everything. As you can see, it's a little cracked in two point. Cross the fingers. So, follow me on this little trip. But before, step number one, take a red beer because it will be a long process to make everything. Meanwhile, take a moment for click on the subscribe button and click on the bell ring for notification on my new videos. This will support me. Thank you so much. I have some expired system reboot from Primo Child and also an expired view here, so I don't want to get them away only because Primo Child deliver things near to expire date and I prefer to test them into the loop and see how they react. The view, as always, has some deposit on the floor. I will filter it just for have less dirt inside the loop. In any case, I will upgrade the system in the next few months. So let's see if an expired view can list at least three months. I also notice I that my barrel fittings are tinted inside with a gap of color in each one of them. Probably they can cause troubles with a sensitive fluid as the view, I don't know. Probably they are the cause of the troubles that I am with the true opaque. I don't know. Probably can be also the PATG tubes or also the sensor temperatures. I take a wasted tube and I use it as an exit port putting in our drain port. Drain that system will not be easy because of the radiator ports that are all on the top and also because I drop things but I will do my best guys. Just for see how the coolant was bad I had taken on a glass the original one so let's see the ones inside how it is. Step number two, drain the system. So open on the top of the reservoir an A port 
so the air can enter and after open the drain port that you have on the bottom. Ok, reservoir empty, now let's take a look at the color of the coolant that was inside. I don't know if you can see it well, but this is very bad. It's yellowish. You can see it? This is pretty, pretty bad. And we're moving to step number three. Flush the system with DI water. Do it at least four times. With five or six liters, fill up your filling bottle and then chow all into your loop. Before do this, close the exit fittings, start the pump and let it circle a little bit. Then drain all again and refill it again. And so go on until you see the water that is nearly clear. It's a little long and boring process, but you need it to do. I will speed up the things a little bit. It will be boring also for you to see. Now, as you can see, it's a little more clear than before. You can see some dirt on the GPU and on the CPU block. And also you can see some debris on the top of the reservoir. But it's better than before. And this brings us to step number four. You can use also some cleaners that aid you to clean the system they usually are additives that you have to mix with the eye water i have used sys reboot from primo chai only because i have it here expire but i prefer and i recommend mayhem blitz but in my case singularity computers proteum is not recommended with the use of C spread. So, in this case, you can also use hot water that is also recommended for cleaning the radiators. So, now after 24 hours of running C spread, we have that situation. Some of the gunk from the GPU block is gone, but still a lot of the dirt remain trapped, so this means that I have to open the water blocks and clean them all. Pretty, pretty simple. We will cover the cleaning on the next part of the video. For today, it's all. Thanks for watching, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, you know what to do. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and drop us a comment below about the video and the things I talk about. See you next time!